Dogs have helped man for thousands of years. Some dogs help us hunt. Some protect us from our enemies. Still, there are others that don't really seem to do anything. These dogs are bred for their looks and demeanor instead. But what if we took something as non-threatening as a Shih Tzu and set it against an opponent? How many dogs would it take to bring down a rhino or a professional baseball player? Today on Shih Tzu Versus, we see how many Shih Tzus it will take to bring down a woolly mammoth. Ancient trade routes from Peru to Tibet were first used to move spices and guinea pigs. After several generations of Tibetan customs being bred into the animals, they were finally big enough to breed with the lasso apso. The subsequent creation became known as the Shih Tzu. The animal stayed in the mountains of Tibet until 1434, when a canine revolt ended in mass exile, scattering dogs all over the globe. So how many Shih Tzus would it take to take down a woolly mammoth. But first, let's take a look at the Shih Tzu. Its size makes it hard to spot and track. Large numbers give the Shih Tzu an advantage in battle. Its large eyes are better to see you with. Little shedding. Its long hair is easy to grab a hold of. This is not a hunting dog and is in the bottom tier of canine intelligence. Needs daily brushing. It is extremely lazy and sleeps upwards of 18 hours per day. Woolly mammoths were first depicted by farmers who witnessed their fatter sheep mating with wild elephants. The resulting animal was hunted to extinction and more sheep and elephants had to mate. After that second evolutionary attempt, the mammoth was finally here to stay until it became extinct again in 1864. The mammoth's size and weight made it a formidable opponent for such a small dog. The skeletal system is not just large, but also in charge. Its giant tusks crush predators. It speaks three languages. Its eyesight is poor and cannot see small animals. The mammoth has an infamously short attention span. Extinct. It cannot read. Now for the first time, using state-of-the-art high-tech animations, we can see exactly how many Shih Tzus it would take to bring down a woolly mammoth. We've placed the mammoth in its natural environment of Eastern Europe. At first, a single dog appears. The mammoth doesn't perceive the animal as a threat, and even after several bites at its legs, the opponent doesn't seem to care. It takes five dogs before the mammoth realizes something is wrong. The beast accelerates as more dogs nip at its heels. Realizing he cannot escape, the mammoth turns to fight. He squashes a dog under his heavy weight as the Shih Tzu count raises to 30. At 50 Shih Tzus, the dogs are jumping on top of each other to get a piece of the mammoth. A moment of weakness brings the prey to its knees. Its soft underbelly now in range of the tiny biting mouths below. It isn't long before the Shih Tzus make it through the flesh and begin to feast. This is where the mammoth meets its end. A total of 72 Shih Tzus brought down the woolly mammoth. The sheer size of the creature made it a formidable opponent, but in the end, the Shih Tzu always wins.